Alice Gaming and today I'm going to be doing a little talk video. Um, I'm also currently doing a vlog uh, for today but you'll see that when it comes out. I mean that is going out before this. But anyway, I thought I'd do a little talk about 2021 and New Year's resolutions because a lot of the time people make resolutions and everyone says oh they only do it for a month, the first month in January and then it's all done and it never happens again and they're just pointless. But I think they're like, they're good in ways, but I think they need to be more realistic. So for people, so for myself, one of them is to do more exercises, but I can do that within a shorter time and succeed at that because there's no point saying you're going to do it for a year. If you're just not, like you need to know that you are committed to doing it for the whole year and like I feel like you just need to make short term goals that end up building into a big yearly goal. So you have like, so I want to do more workouts. I want to work out as many times as I can, at least every day uh, in the weekdays. So, uh, cause I do these five minute like ab workouts at the moment and I've been really happy with those because I've done them for the past two weeks. I didn't start on the first month for Jack, no, the first week of January because I was lazy and I was eating so much food and it was really bad so I decided to start this but then in a month it could be to do more work more workouts for my arms or for my legs and I can do things like that but then overall in the year it would be do more exercise and do more workouts and things like that like small goals that have a bigger picture to them as a good as a good year like resolution thing I think those are good because then you know it's a bit more realistic because sorry uh, if you set a goal for a whole year you might not be able to keep that up for the whole year you might as well have smaller ones complete those as you go along and then have a big 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 goal sorry my words are all over the place uh, being in lockdown is quite difficult uh, for most people and also I am struggling to talk a lot more <laughs> uh, because I talk quite a lot and I've been texting more and I haven't really been having much like contact and talking to people. So, uh, I mean, apart from text and a couple of times being on FaceTime, it's not like when you go into school and then you have like the whole day of having to socialise with someone, like you're forced to socialise with people, even if you don't want to, you're still forced to. But it's just weird because I struggle talking so much recently. I mean, I do anyway, because I have really bad social anxiety because I don't like talking. Uh, to people I don't really know or not necessarily that I just have uh, struggles like I find it easier to talk to someone I know and talk to them for hours than when I have to like go out somewhere and go to a shop and then have to talk to a person it's really scary um, but yeah that was a side run that didn't need to happen so for me I could do another new news resolution and say uh, next time I have to go to a shop or next time when we're out of lockdown and I can go to Costa again and I can get my hot chocolates or I can get my drink I have to like always do it myself or if I go out somewhere with my dad because when we go out with my dad or I have to call someone to do something I mean it sounds like I have a proper business plan but I don't it was when I had to get my phone screen fixed and I didn't want to call other people because I was scared I because <laughs> if I uh, say something I'm really scared that I'm either going to say something wrong or say something offensive to someone so I just don't like talking in general <laughs> uh, but I like these talk videos because I'm just talking to myself because I just see myself in the uh, thingy the camera video thing I don't know what's going on with my hands recently constantly like you know <laughs> um, but yeah I just find talking like that easier so I think we should all have goals but I don't think it should just be because it's a new year I feel like it should be because you want to do it not because it's like a thing you have to do it's because you want to do it because there's no point setting a resolution that you don't want to do it's like me saying I want to set a resolution uh, not to watch YouTube for a whole two months and not to play my games for a whole two months that's just not happening. <laughs> I love gaming and I it like keeps me happy and keeps me occupied. If I didn't have any of it, I would be like so lost. I mean, if I didn't grow up with it in the first place, I would be okay because I like being outdoors and like being in nature and stuff. But if I had 
had the, the, the if I grow up with this stuff and then I'm adapted to it, I'm gonna struggle. But it's like I used to go on my phone twenty four seven. I would never come off my phone. I now mostly use it to record, and that's the longest time I'm on my phone. I record quite a lot of stuff. I spend like an hour recording something, or like today I'm recording most of the day, but it's not all of it because it's some of it's just boring and no one needs to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we should just all have some goals that we have in mind, not necessarily that we have to complete tomorrow or ones that, well actually yeah, com <laughs> the ones that we have to complete in a duration of time that is more realistic. Also, if you have a goal and you want to do it, don't do what I did. <laughs> and I know a lot of people do this. They're like, oh, I'll start tomorrow. The tomorrow is the longest time period in your life because I feel like every excuse I've ever, I've, I've even used them or every like other person I've seen who has had New Year's, resolu New Year's resolutions, they're like, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow seems to be the whole year until it comes around again and then you realise, oh, I haven't done anything. So I'm going to set it again and I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> like, don't say you'll do it tomorrow. Do it now or when you want to. Sorry about shaking. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> do it. I mean, I mean like that uh, meme, you know, the meme. You go, just do it. So, yeah, just do it. Just set your goals and do it. Have like a little notebook or like a bit of paper with all your goals that you keep safe. Like, I'm going to start doing that because I've been trying to, like, write out more stuff about my habits and do, like, a little tally of stuff. But I will be writing out my goals and I will... Uh, I will yawn. <laughs> There's going to be a compilation of me yawning eventually. <laughs> Two years times. How many times has she yawned and all of the clips? But if, um... You have like a little notebook or something. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post my little tally that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have uh, subtitles, a title, so it'd be goals for this year. And then, oh no, I'll just put goals. And then you'll have weekly, a few bullet points, monthly, a few bullet points, and year, a couple bullet points. You know, you just wanna break it down and see it. Cause then if you see it, you're like, okay, I know what I have to do. But like they say in what like what, what, eh, like what Kylo Ren said in Star Wars, I know what I have to do, but I don't. I've got the strength to do it. Yes, you have. You're a beast. You're amazing. Pep talk from me. <laughs> Just go do it. Come on. Stop being lazy. Get up. I mean, I'm joking. Don't don't at me for that. I am quite lazy myself. But recently, I haven't been. I've been very productive, and I'm really proud of it. See, like after you do something, you feel happy about it. Like. The amount of times I've been doing, because when I do my workouts, I used to die. The first time I did, so I do JT Fit workouts, I do the five minute ab workout. And because it has no breaks in between, the first time I did it, I was really breathing heavily the first, like, uh, at the second, like, exercise. But now I can go through most of it and get it completed. And when you get to a point like that, you're happy because you're like, I can do it. It's just before I could have given up because I felt like I couldn't. Like I, I like struggle breathing sometimes when I do exercises. So if I run, I'll start heavily panting. So I don't do enough cardio work. That's another thing I'm adding. I'm adding that to my monthly goals. I need to do cardio because I swear to God, the amount of times in PE I ran and then the first time I ran and then I've died instantly. It's just so embarrassing. <laughs> but um, yeah. I just feel like that's all I've got to say for this one. I do want to do like a quick little video to just talk to you guys and say hello. I mean, I'm doing another video after this and I'm recording the vlog, but I just do a little video, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I hope uh, it's helped you uh, think about what you want to do, like goals wise and what you want to do this year. Because I know last year I had no goals and then I ended up like stuck in a situation where if I had goals I could complete them or I had something to do or I had a purpose but I didn't and I really struggle with that I mean I read two books last year a round of applause I I read two books and it was amazing and they were my favorite books that I've read so far because but the ones before um basically I I read these things called 
uh, School for Stars and it was by Holly Willoughby and Kelly Willoughby and basically I read all the books in that series I loved them and I haven't read them since I was 10 <laughs> so um, it's quite a long time since I've proper I've never finished a book uh, after that after I've read those series I never finish books because I read them I start them but then I can't seem to get to the end this has gone off on a massive tangent um, <laughs> but last year when I was in lockdown in the summer it was so nice to be able to go sit outside I mean obviously some people can't go sit outside in the garden but obviously if you can get out and go do some exercise and then relax go to a park or something or a field or whatever and just go do some reading because I really enjoyed it once I finished those books I was so happy side rant I read uh, <laughs> lots of side rants here um I read to all the boys I loved before PS I still love you yes I like like romantic like that kind of things uh teen romances and stuff and then I also read Bridget Jones's, Bridget D Jones's diary the films are amazing and the book is uh, as amazing as well like it gives you more info when you read the books it sounds so obvious and everyone says it but the books do tend to be uh, better than the films because if the films come after they haven't got everything in it because if you had everything from that 300 and something page book it would be a three hour film and they don't do that unless it's Star Wars but Star Wars even then isn't completed after that film like when you go back and read the books from Star Wars like I have a Star Wars Force Awakens book I'm gonna finish reading that <laughs> this year that is my goal read more books because last year I read two books so this year I'm gonna read three or four so set yourself some goals I'm gonna post on my Instagram uh, my little table I've done and I hope uh, help this has helped you in any way to create some goals for this year even if you didn't have any in mind at first and now you've thought oh my god that's so amazing I shall do that as well but anyway I'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>